Hi everybody, this is Simone from Camelot. I'm here to show you the integration between Camelot and Studio Logic Sledge. Camelot and Studio Logic has teamed up to provide a plug and play experience. So we have established a plug and play connection that allows you to select your favorite preset from Sledge into Camelot. Then you can use Camelot for your live performance. Camelot is a live performance application that runs on macOS, Windows and the iPad. So no matter the device that you are using, you can still control and perform with Camelot and Studio Logic Sledge. How can you connect Camelot with Studio Logic Sledge? It's very easy. You can just plug a USB cable from your computer or your device into the USB port on the Sledge. So, let's see in action how this communication works. This is Camelot and uh, this is a scene. A scene is a unit in Camelot that allows you to recall the sounds from your favorite hardware instruments and software instruments. In this example, I will show you how Camelot can communicate with Sledge and how you can select your favorite preset from Camelot. Just press this plus button in a layer, go to the hardware instruments, select the Studio Logic brand and select the Sledge. Be sure that on the MIDI setting and routing, the correct MIDI port are selected. Send MIDI 2 should set to Studio Logic Sledge, and the Sync Data port should be connected to the Studio Logic Sledge. The Sync Data port is very important because allows this special feature of getting the preset names from the instruments. Now that he's all set, you select the Sledge and you access the Smart Map. The smart map is the special feature that allows you to select the preset sound. So, as you can see, when I switch sound on the smart map, I can see the same sound switching on the Studio Logic Sledge. Another interesting feature of Camelot is the way that Camelot communicates with the Studio Logic Sledge. In this case, if I press this button on the top right corner, I can start the sync feature that gets the name from Sledge. As you can see, the instrument is communicating with Camelot and is getting all the names from the instrument. Let me connect to the Studio Logic Sledge the input of the, this layer to close the loop. Now the Studio Logic Sledge has been set in local off, so I am using the generator disconnected from its own keyboard. In Camelot, I'm reconnecting everything. We will see later how and why this is important to use the local off settings to get the best value from the use with Camelot. So now I am playing from Sledge on the Sledge Tone Generator. <laughs> Let me switch some sound. So, now that we can control our instrument, I would like to show you another interesting feature, the MIDI Tempo Sync. In Camelot, there is a Tempo Sync layer always accessible from the footer, just pressing this button. With the tap tempo, I can adjust quickly the tempo for this scene, and Camelot will transmit this tempo information to any device that is connected into a scene. So, now that I'm using this sound that is an arpeggiated sound, I can control the tempo. So, as you can see, if I switch the tempo, I can get different speed of the arpeggio that is coming out from the sledge. Now, let's see how powerful is combining this feature with uh, layering software instruments with uh, hardware instruments. Let's press plus and select another plugin instrument. Let's use a Synth Master. Now, Synth Master has been loaded. Let me double click it to access its interface. And let's try to find another arpeggiator sound. Let's try this one. So now I am playing at the same time Synth Master and Sledge. Let's mute Sledge for a second to hear the sound from Synth Master. And this is the sound from Sledge. This is the result. So 
So, as you can see, it's really powerful to control and combine a great instrument like the Studio Logic Sledge with Camelot that allows you to layer and control all the hardware instrument that you have, but also your software, your favorite software instruments. Thank you for watching.